a fine romance. Thank you. It's all part of the friendly service. You never used to do press ups when you kissed me. Oh, <laughs> Do you think you could manage another one? What, baby? <laughs> a kiss! Can I manage another one? I, no, I don't think I can. It. <laughs> I have to sit on the other side, you know, some nights, otherwise by the time he arrives, I'll have one enormously muscled arm. You're very sure about he, aren't you? Yes. William Beaumont Barker. If we call him that, and he hates rugby, he's not going to like us. The arm's better. Oh, good. Oh, now, who could that be? I'll give you three guesses. Hello. Phil. Disturbing who, are we? No! No! Phil was just doing his antenatal exercises. I bought you a little present for the baby. Oh. Well, we were on our way home from work, and as we practically passed your door. The office, our flat, your house. We always go the long way home. <laughs> really, Laura, you must stop buying things. What is it? To baby bounce, sir. I didn't think you were supposed to bounce babies. Thank you, Laura. It's sweet. <laughs> What'd you do with it? Well, you suspend this from something, door frame or something like that, and the baby sits in here, here, and he bounces up and down to his heart's content. He won't start ricocheting between the floor and the top of the door frame. <laughs> of course he won't. That's what I said. Yes, and I said the same to you. Except you didn't laugh. <laughs> what about a drink? Would anyone like a drink? Yes, please. Sure, no, thanks. Would be nice. oh, dry, isn't it? I don't want to have one on my own. That's right. I'll have one with you. You sure, Mike? Uh, <clears throat> yes, thanks. We ought to be getting off, actually. I'm allowed this first, am I? <laughs> I mean, when you'd finished a drink. Why don't you have one? Because I don't want one. I'll have one. <laughs> I'll have lemonade on the rocks, please. Right. <laughs> there. You sure, Mike? Yes, thanks. I'm driving and I had a pint at lunchtime. Half, actually. You had a half. I had a pint. Half. <laughs> With Nata, does this? No. No? No. Cheers. 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 <laughs> I'm so glad to see the back of those two in my life. Don't you defend them? I wasn't going to. I was thinking of moving. What's the matter with them lately, anyway? Laura wants a baby and Mike doesn't. I thought they'd drop the idea. Mike has, Laura hasn't. Well, it takes two. That must be the end of it. Mike hopes so. Laura doesn't. Uh, can't go on flogging a dead horse. Laura will. Mike won't. <laughs> Have they talked the whole thing through properly? Mike hopes so. Laura doesn't. No wonder they couldn't agree on how much beer he had lunch time. It's all my fault. Ah, oh, come on. Well, I was the one that brought them together in the first place. Yes, but they defied all the odds by staying together. I wish they saw out their problems by themselves instead of coming around here bothering us with them. Yes, this. I mean, what would we have done if I'd wanted a baby and you hadn't? But, but I did. Well, if you had and I hadn't. But you did. No, if I hadn't. <laughs> well, if you hadn't and I hadn't. No, if I had and you hadn't. But they've done it again, haven't they? One hour I listened to their gibberish, they got us talking gibberish to each other. Chicka jibber. <laughs> Are you gibbering? Oh. What are you creeping about for? I came to see if you were awake. I am. Now. Before, I mean. No, as a matter of fact. Oh. I'm sure that furniture knows when someone's coming in the dark. In theory, it moves itself about. 
didn't just come in to stub your toe, did you? <laughs> Look, this is silly. Just because we've had a row, it doesn't mean to say that we can't share the same bed. Are you taking back what you said? Oh, for goodness sake, we're not in the school. Do play. you? No. Right. <laughs> Then I should sleep on the couch. Why? Well, because it's traditional. <laughs> Since when have we been traditional? Oh! Now, come on. No. You, you go to bed. No, I don't want to go to bed. Don't <laughs> sleep. Oh! Now, come on, let go of that. No, I will not let go of that. I want to sleep on that no, sofa. No, you do not want to sleep on this sofa. Yes, I do now. Get off! I am sleeping on this sofa, and that is an end to it. weeks ago. <laughs> I would have hit you, you know. I know. Would you have hit me back? Yes. Really? Yes. Would you? Oh, I never thought we'd end up here at two o'clock in the morning talking about hitting each other. Where did you think we'd end up? Uh, I don't know. Nowhere for a long time and then somewhere together. But not with a child. Look, I'm talking about it, Mike. I'm, I'm not niggling or nagging or nagging. I'm just talking about it quietly and sensibly. And I promise it's for the last time. If I thought... Yes? If I thought we could look after a baby, bring it up. Well, of course we could. You've got to be responsible. You've got to be settled. We are. Ten minutes ago, we were throwing buckets of water over each other. <laughs> Is that the action of responsible adults? You'd make a lovely father. Oh, I don't know why you say that. Well, you're so kind. Oh, yeah, that's very... Going around hitting women, that's very kind. Well, you didn't hit me. I would have done. Only if I'd have hit you first. I thought of it first. Well, what if a child had been watching that? But if we'd had a child, it wouldn't have happened. There you go again. A baby is just a baby. It's not some magic that cures everything that's wrong between two people. Well, what do you mean everything? Everything isn't wrong. Well, I know. I didn't think anything was wrong. I thought we were beginning to get on rather well. I thought we were beginning to enjoy each other. We were. Then why have a baby to put everything right when everything's right without a baby oh, in the first place? It shouldn't place? have come out like that. <laughs> well, it did. Doesn't mean to say that everything couldn't be better. No. I'm thinking of us, Mike. You're not. You mean I'm selfish? No. But it's not us that wants the baby. If we had a son, you could teach him the landscape gardening business. Oh. <laughs> He'd love that. Son? Give up all thoughts of becoming a rich merchant banker 
Your dad's going to teach how to become a struggling landscape gardener. You won't always be. You're good at it and word gets round. Oh, well, I wish you would hurry up. I'm not getting any younger. And that's another thing. We're too old. Oh, medically speaking. Practically speaking. We could die before the child grew up. Oh, now that's downright morbid. Well, I couldn't kick a football around. Well, of course you could. No, I couldn't. One of my sticks slipped, I'd fall flat on my back. <laughs> Because you never had a mother and father. Of course I had a mother and father. <laughs> Didn't arrive in a capsule from the planet Krypton. Not knowing them, I mean. I don't know. I'm not budging you, am I? It's like spending money on double glazing when the roof's still leaking. Then we better get some sleep. Ah, the bed's soaked. <clears throat> the sofa's soaked. And we've only got one dry blanket left. We'd better make rows dry ones from now on. There. Good night, Laura. Ah, oh, Phil. Good morning, it's Mike. I'm sorry I'm a bit early. Is it as early as all that? <laughs> uh, well, I'm sorry. Uh, the thing is, I was wondering if Laura was round there. Well, no, I don't see why she should be either, but she isn't here. Uh, no. Uh, well, she must be somewhere else, and I'm, I'm sorry to have bothered. I didn't wake you up, did I? Oh, I'm sorry about that, Phil. <laughs> Goodbye. For you. Why? Because you weren't here. No, I was at the laundrette. We've already established that. What were you doing there? Drying the bedclothes. But it's seven o'clock. Well, I didn't sleep very well. Oh, I didn't sleep very well either, but I didn't sneak off to the laundrette. Well, I didn't <laughs> sneak off anywhere. There's some very weird people at laundrettes at odd hours. What weird people? Oh, well, you for a start. <laughs> Yes, all right. What 
would you say to egg, bacon, sausage, mushrooms and tomatoes? Not a lot. <laughs> you like cooked breakfast? Uh, not this morning. Uh, just a piece of toast and a cup of tea will do fine. I think you should have a cooked breakfast. Why? Because I'd like to cook one for you. Does sleeping on a sofa always make you behave like this? <laughs> tea and toast. Hello, Helen. No, oh, she popped out of the laundrette. Yes, that's what I said, yeah. No, 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 fine. I'm sorry to trouble you. Yes. Goodbye. Why did you phone Helen? Because I thought you might have been round there. Seven o'clock in the morning? Far more likely than going to the laundrette at seven o'clock in the morning. Don't be angry, Mike, not this morning. Oh, I'm not angry. I'm just confused. These bags are full of food. Guess well, I, I went shopping while the clothes dried. Oh, I see. No harm in stocking up, is there? No, 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 I suppose not. It's not going to become a way of life, this dawn activity, is it? <laughs> no, I shouldn't think so. Right, here we are. We've had a lot more good times than bad, haven't we? Yes, of course. Why? It's just nice to think about, isn't it? Yes, I suppose it is. <laughs> Have I got marmalade somewhere? No. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You look peculiar. Thanks. Oh, uh, not peculiar. Funny. Well, it must be my early start catching up with me. Actually, I shan't be at the office today, Mike. Oh, right. I've got some things to do. Well, now you've taken on Mr. Robinson and Terry, I don't think you need me in the old office anymore. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I mean, I've seen Mr. Robinson's typing. He's much quicker than I am. Not so messy, either. It's funny how we both call him Mr. Robinson. So I can't bring myself to call him Wilfred. Neither can I. What does young Terry call him? Wilf. He would. Still, they're nice people, aren't they? Both of them. Oh, yeah. Once they begin to understand what the other's talking about, they can make a good team. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're working with nice people. They like you. Mm. Nice people with good taste. <laughs> More tea? Uh, no, thanks. I uh, ought to be getting along. Set the staff a good example. I'm sorry about last night, Mike. Yes, so am I. We won't think of it as typical, will we? I shouldn't think so. We haven't chucked water over each other before. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm off to brutalise the workers. <laughs> Cheerio. Cheerio, Mike. The laundrette? Yes. Well, at seven in the morning. Well, that's what Mike said, unless I misheard him. I couldn't have done. I can't think of another word that sounds like laundrette, can you? No, I don't know, I can't. <laughs> she's finally gone round the twisty. Oh, no. You want to try? They're cases. I don't think you're moving in, are you? Don't worry. They're cases. I do establish that. You're not? No. Well, what are you doing then? Well, I'm going to Brussels, you see. I must be able to get a job there. I mean, all those Euro MPs shouting at each other in their own languages. They must wear out interpreters very quickly. 
Well, what about Mike? He doesn't need an interpreter. <laughs> Don't be silly, Laura. You know what I mean. You can't go charging off to Brussels every time you have a row. If I'd done that recently, I'd never have been off the aeroplane. Well, what did Mike say? Nothing. I didn't tell him. You mean you just walked out? No, no, no. I saw him after work. He wouldn't have a big fry up for breakfast. Then I packed my bag and now I'm off to the airport. Oh, that's charming. He left a note. No. So what happens now? He gets home, no you, no note. You start worrying. Your phone here, I expect. Yes, it would. Well, you got a note. Well, I couldn't, could I? What could I say in a note? Dear Mike, I'm ratting on you. I'm not. All right, doing the dirty on oh, you. Oh, Helen, you should have told him. Well, I couldn't. He'd have made a long, beautiful speech like, don't go. <laughs> and I'd have stayed. We'd have tried to make it work because we like each other, but we can't solve this one. And it won't go away. We'd have ended up just not liking each other, and that would have been far worse. So... Can I call a taxi? No, we'll take you to the airport, won't we, Phil? Yes, of course we will. Thanks. I'll just go. Who are you ringing? Mike. No, you don't. If he gets to the airport and she sees... We've got to let go of those two. We carry her like this, we'll end up adopting them. They love each other. Like. She said, like. What if she's silly in Brussels? She's silly everywhere. Phil. <laughs> but don't worry, she's not going to end up haunting waterfront bars with a plastic mac and a fag in her mouth. There isn't a waterfront in Brussels. <laughs> Seriously. Maybe for the best. I've always said the only thing those two have got in common is having nothing in common. Being lonely? Well, that's true. Fine. You look after Mike for me, won't you? Yes, you can sleep in the nursery till the baby arrives. Ready? Oh, I'll take this. Oh, thanks, Phil. Um, I've just forgot my bag. It won't be a minute. delayed when you want them to be, are they? Planes. How did you know? Phil, Phil. Let's stop for petrol. I'm sorry, Mike. Well, it's not very far from Brussels, is it? You're going to get on the next plane, aren't you? No. I mean, it's not very far from Brussels if... I suppose it is. Got a yellow line? Yeah. Stop a yellow line. A fine romance with no clinches. A fine romance with no pinches. They think we're like a couple of hot tomatoes. But we're as cold as yesterday's mashed potatoes. A fine romance with no nestling We two are just as prickly as cactus plants Love hasn't got a chance This is a fine romance 